the United States, we, we might not know a lot about him, but we know a lot about his brands. Right. Uniqlo. Yes. Uniqlo is really this massive uh, retailer that's really taken America by storm and the world by storm. And with this J. Crew deal, Tadashi and I is really looking to take on some of the world's biggest retailers. If you look at Intidex, which owns the Zara brand, it's mm -hmm. owned by Amancio Ortega, the fourth richest person in the world. If you look at H&M, which is on uh, pretty much every block in New York City, and uh, the Stefan Pearson families of the world. So he's really taking his Uniqlo bland and he's trying to take it to America and then he's right. trying to buy up American brands and really become a global retailer. So what do we know about him? We know that he took his uh, father's uh, tailor shop essentially and built it into fast retailing and everything in between is sort of this always constantly looking at the very little detail so if you go into a Uniqlo store um, you can actually walk in front of a mirror and you can change the color of a white jet yes, white I've seen that. and so everything is down to the finest detail um, all of his employees are extremely well trained mm. and spend a lot of time training and showing to making the experience of going in and going to a Uniqlo store um, really Im impressive and bring people back for a second or a third time and so he's uh, just in a, in a very Japanese management since so uh, informed and, and, and focused on attention to detail. Right, and he's the 41th richest person. 41st richest person in the, in the, world. In the world. And Asia's richest man, though, I believe, uh, is Lee Kai Shing, who, mm -hmm. uh, just quickly, Matt, tell us, he had some dispute about how much he's worth in the press? He did, and then, and then he didn't. Um, so what happened was on Friday, he was on uh, a conference call with some reporters, and he said that um, his net worth was 40% undervalued by uh, foreign magazines. Uh, and then a next, the next day he came out and he said what he was referencing was um, 10 years ago. Uh, ah. People were saying so. His his net worth is right on spot on. Maybe he should just say I'm not worth anything. So everybody just get away yeah, from me and, <laughs> and stop charging me so much.